we're on the next Ontario experience trip. Guess what? This one's a drive to. We even get to bring our own boat. And on this trip, I brought a special guest. I talked him into it, and he said yes. I'm yes, sure I you guess. recognize this guy, my boss, Al Linder. <laughs> hey, we just crossed the border from International Falls into Fort Francis, Ontario. Gonna stop over, get some goodies we need for the days we're up here. I'm so pumped. This lake for me is a bucket list me lake. as well, yep. Dog Tooth Lake. Big walleyes, big smallmouth. It's awesome. It's been something that we've been talking about all season all long. I can't wait to get going. This resort, Dogtooth Lake Resort, is located in the sunset country of Ontario. Let's get moving. I'm ready, man. The Ontario experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. We got here at the Dogtooth Resort late yesterday afternoon, got settled in. Today, beautiful morning. The anticipation was, has been super high getting here, right? Now let's see if this lake can live up to its expectations. Got him. Got one? Yeah. Good one. Good fish. Oh man. Might Jeez. be the best fish I had today. This might you might have me beat now, Al. This might be the girl. It might be a big fight. I really don't know. Nope. Just yeah. a walleye. Just a just a tough walleye. Man, oh man. She has the right demeanor. <laughs> Every one is a good one. Every time you set the hook, it's a good one. They all got shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're seeing fish down this break pretty good. Go, oh, baby. Boy, were you a tough one. You earned your keep. Man, I keep thinking that one's gonna, that one's gonna top, top tie, ties 28. There we go. Got him? Yep. Bass. Smally, smally. Smally. Right, uh, not big, but he's, he fights big, just like everything else in this lake. Tough fat so. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they're like, like little toads. <clears throat> Got him. Good one. Good, good one? A good eye, good eye. Good eye, ball. big eye. Look at her, she's spitting craws. Oh yeah. That piece of craws. Look at it. That just spitting oh. all over the place. I, I knew I seen I, I seen a number of fish down there. Yeah. Nice quag. Overall quality of fish is just it's just amazing here, the overall quality. You know, what an amazing management program. Go on, baby. The fishery should be getting better and better and better with age. <laughs> there we go. Another one? That's a walleye. That's a walleye. Yeah. You can tell that bite. It's a good one. It's got shoulders. Yeah. Ah. The size structure of these walleyes is just amazing. And they fight bigger than they are even, even though they're big, you know. These are some of the toughest fish. These fish are so incredibly tough. It's, it's amazing to me how tough they are. You know what they remind me of is like river fish. Yeah, yeah. And when they want to bite, what do they get Oh, mean? that's a good one. They get mean really fast. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, man. That's a, that's this a, a tip. Typical Shadeen fish. That is what I, I catch like the to nice see. ones. He That's what I like to see right there. Look at that. <laughs> what do you think, Al? Go get some supper? Yeah, I'm gonna five more kids. Five, I five see a rock. Casts. Rock, then we're gonna go eat. Okay. Then we're going to eat. I'll get her back in, take a couple more casts, and go in for supper. It's been a great one day. spot on the way, one stop on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> it's always one more stop for Al. Been a great trip. Great trip all Great together. trip, man. That's awesome. Bucket list trip, and it, it, it it's everything I wanted it to be. Everything I heard about, big, big fish, and lots of them. The great thing about going on these Ontario experiences is that I get to take advantage of nature's grocery store. Last year, I shot a giant moose. This year, I get to take advantage of it. 
Guess what? I got moose burgers. I've got an awesome recipe. Get a piece of paper and a pencil because you're not going to want to miss this. Here are all the ingredients you'll need. Salt. Moose makes the best burger hands down. The natural flavor of it is so good. You don't really even need salt. I add a little bit just for a little bit of extra flavor. Actually, this has got, this has got, uh, it's not just salt. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of seasoning to it too. Just, just to make it a little bit better. It's tough to beat alone, but sometimes it's good to add just a little bit. And these are really lean burgers. So I actually put it on some foil too so it doesn't fall apart. Perfect. Now with moose burger, you do not want to overcook it. With any wild game like a venison or a moose or a bear, it doesn't have a lot of fat in it like a, a beef or a pork. So don't overcook it because it gets tough and it's not nearly as good. So I usually go two and a half minutes per side, you know, I flip it and then I usually go to the touch so you can feel it kind of bounce a little bit, you know the meat is done. Besides a getaway for serious fish heads, Dogtooth Lake Resort is also the perfect place for a family vacation with all sorts of on and off the water recreation. Their cabins are fully modern with all the amenities needed for a great trip. The staff is beyond friendly and accommodating and the surroundings couldn't be more beautiful. Wow, another beautiful day here at Dogtooth Lake Resort. Yesterday was nothing short of spectacular. The walleye fishing lived up to the billing here at Dogtooth Lake Resort. Today, another beautiful day. Uh, Kyle and, and Al are down the dock waiting for me. We're gonna, Kyle's gonna show us some, some uh, spots on Kilvert Lake, which is attached to Dogtooth. Supposed to be some really great walleyes there too, maybe some smallmouth. Another beautiful day, I can't wait to get out there. You know, every year we go up to Canada and fish new bodies of water and we get in some really, really, really remote places like Ty and I are going to right now. You know, we're running through some tough stuff and we run long distances. You haven't been here before. He's making sure I don't pile up on rocks. My entire career for me, I've been running a Mercury motor pretty much on a one boat my whole career. And I'm one of those guys that doesn't know a whole lot about what goes on underneath the hood of that motor. I'm not a gearhead, let me put it that way. What's important to me is that when I get back in places like this, when I turn that key on, the motor turns on and runs. That's the most important thing to me. And Mercury's been dependable for me my entire career. Dependability. And one other part, one other thing that is important to me is efficiency. This motor for a 300 horse is so fuel efficient. And when you get up in a brush like we're in now, where you're running days and days and days and don't have access to gas in a lot of cases, you can run, we could fish three, four days on big water and run many miles. Two important things that I understand as an angler, dependability and efficiency. And I get that with Mercury. We finally got through all that. All those lakes, all those cricks. Let's see if it's as good as Kyle says it is. There, there, there we got go. Him. Got him that time. <laughs> see came, what this sucker came is. Back. Smallmouth. Is it a brownie? Yeah. Size? Ah, about the same as we've been catching. Little fat cub. Big fat cub is right. They still fight like they're big. Huh. Very interesting. Get this fat tom out of here. Come here. Ooh. Come here. You know, it's not ready to come in yet. Look at that. They fight like they're big, but look how chunky those things are though. He actually hit it once, came back and Decided he still wanted it. Those are fun to catch. Fun to catch. Got him. Good one, whatever it is. 
a little bit so. better. <clears throat> they're stout stuff. They're, you, they're as tough as those walleyes are. You know? I mean, it's amazing. They all have the same attitude. Ah, come here, you little toad. I want to see what one looks like out of this lake. Looking at these guys, I want to see what one looks like out of this lake when he's 19 inches. That's what I want to see. Got him another one. Ooh. Jig? We'll, we'll see. We'll see what we got going here. Same thing. Tear, huh? Yeah. They are tougher than nails, though. Wow. Yeah. Cookie cutters. Come here. I mean, they're... I got him, got him, got him. Wow. Another small E. Walleye. Nope, small. Walleye. Big no, small. No small. <laughs> Big <laughs> small. Biggest small of the day, I think. Yeah, a little no, bit better. Look how fat he is. A little bit fat, better. Fat, fat, but yeah. one. That's a year class up. A year class regardless, up from what we've been to. <laughs> regardless, he's got the right demeanor. I tell you what, if you want to come up here and you just you know you get tired of catching a bunch of walleyes all day, big ones, which is hard to hard to do. <laughs> and you want something that fights. And I mean fights hard, or the wind happens to pick up, or whatever it may be. I don't think you really need a reason why. Bring your kids back, just to have a ton of just a ton of fun. These smallmouth, they don't quit, do they, Al? No, that's why I like them so much. Oh, there we go. This is a walleye. Don't know yet. I a walleye. This is a walleye for sure. Ah, uh, maybe not. My pike with my jig. Maybe. But it's a big one. I think it's a walleye. I think it's a nice walleye. I hope oh, yeah, you're so walleye. right. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Al's busy, so I'll net it. Look at that. We're back into the horses. Oh, oh yeah. Man. <laughs> Sweet. Look at that. She popped right back out again, which is famous jig and wrap. Pop right out of the mouth once you put, get them in the net. Look at this girl. Kind of an interesting day. We got into more eater sized walleyes today. We had a storm yesterday, got a lot of rain. It seemed like this morning we just got a lot more smaller sized fish fry type of walleye, which is good. Nothing wrong with that, but this is this is what this Lake is known for right here. Just beautiful 24, 25 inch walleyes and bigger. Can't beat it. <laughs> we'll take these all day, right Al? You got that right. Especially when you're on a jigging ramp. There we go. Oh, there she goes. Got him. There you got him. And then that one I got. Finally, I got that stinking thing, Ty. You said you were going to miss him. Guess what it is? A 23 or 24 inch walleye. <laughs> <laughs> you said you weren't going to miss him again. You were right. Oh, a little guy. Oh, it's a little one. Are you telling me you want to have him for dinner? You'd have to. You should have kept those other other ones. Because <laughs> the chances of getting him. Look at that. Whoa. It popped right out too. Look at that. That's huh? a fatty. Nice little chunky one. Chunker. That one. Been on a plain bucktail. I seen him on this corner. I'm gonna go back and fish through here one more time. That fish hit really well, of course they all hit good. There we go, I felt that one hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're on this corner, ain't they? Yep. Come on, stay down like a walleye likes to. Oh 
yeah. Well, I, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Another reader. Huh. Like a little big for an eater. A little big for an eater. Come here. Come here, Walla. That big fish came a little like bit them. up. When they eat it like that, they don't. you don't miss them when they eat it like that, that's for sure. I just missed one. And I said, dang it, I just put a brand new jigging wrap on. Sure enough, boom. Came back and tasted it. Oh, it's good to have good players with you when you're when they're eating like like that. Jeepers, just swallowed it. These hooks are so sharp. Oh, they are feisty. Look at that. Still too big. That's about a 19 incher. And up here, it has to go yeah, back. Nice chunk. I guess you can keep one over, right? One over, 18.1. We're gonna let it go so you can catch it when you come up. Now when you get up here to that dog tooth lake resort, you can catch that one. Got him. Got him. There you go. There's definitely some fish on there. There's a lot that's of bait a, on this. If oh. that's a smallmouth, she's a big one. That it can't be a smallmouth. That's got to be a big walleye. Although I'd like it to be a four pound brownie. But she's she's an eye. That's an eye. Uh, that's definitely an eye. Big eye. About a 28 and a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can dream, can I? You can dream. It's definitely possible out here, too. <laughs> You know when when they uh, they pull you, you around and tell you where they're going? Yeah, that's that, a big walleye. That's a big walleye. These fish in here are so incredibly tough, man. There's definitely a lot of forage for them. They're fat. Yeah. They're healthy. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a good here, one, baby. Al. That's a good one, Al. Oh yeah. That's a healthy one. <sighs> Beautiful fish. Come here. Come here. There. <sighs> Ooh, nice one. She, she, she dumped off of her. How's that baby? Huh? Okay, what is it, 26? <laughs> it's pretty darn close if it's not. It's fat. Yeah. They're yeah. all fat. Uh -huh. That's what, 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 what you call a predator. <laughs> <laughs> Go, give her a quick measure. I will, just for I you. Think I'm, I'm, I'm just going to give her you. I'm going to hold the spot here. Okay. See, this is what he does. <laughs> he makes me measure his fish and then he casts out <laughs> I'm giving it 26. You are about an inch short. 25. 25. All right. Look how fat those things are, though. You know, but a fat 25. They're so fat, they look bigger yep. than they are. See? They look bigger than they are. Let's get her back in. Because I want to catch one now. Well, I'm locked up here pretty good. Ready? This thing had so much food on it. See, Al makes me release his fish, too. <laughs> makes me measure. Makes me release his fish. You gotta take care of the seniors. There she goes, there she goes, there she goes. There she took off. Just another 25 incher, just another 25 incher. Uh, up here at Dogtooth Lake Resort. Tell you what, you can't, it doesn't get, between the, the smallmouth and the huge walleyes, I don't know if you have more fun, can you? It, it's a deadly, it's, they're both my two favorite fish, one and two. Yep. Smallmouth first, walleye second. There we go. There's Got a good him. fish right there. Jig and wrap. Jig and wrap fish. Yeah. Big brownie. <laughs> I was like, boy, it's really fighting weird for a walleye. That's a good one. <laughs> There's just so many spots out here for these things to live, too. Al and I were talking earlier about this. It's just incredible the amount of living space for these smallmouth on Dogtooth and Kilver. Look how fat that thing is. Chubby. This is definitely a great bonus fish to come up here and really get your arms good and sore before you go back home. There she goes. Got him. Got there you him. go. One of those hefty ones? Yeah. You gotta see the boat and take off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, There's yeah. a horse. Oh, yeah. There's a horse piece. Oh yeah. She popped right Whoop. off just like a jigging and wrap does. Just the way. It's supposed to. <laughs> Dandy fish. Huh? 
Love it. I love them. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You come out, that was a jigging wrap fish out here. We just came over, I don't like, I don't know, 80, 90 feet of water. Yeah, yeah, you know, and all of a sudden I look, we're running to a shallow reef in there and it, it jumps up to 18 feet. And on these lakes, this time of the year, you want to catch some of the big, big, big gales. You spot it and you go after them. Ugh. Oh, I love it. Nice fish. Yeah. I love it. Ty, we've got another, another magic spot on here. I don't know when I'm going to get back here, Kyle. So I'm taking all these spots you're showing us and I'm locking them in. I won't sell them. I won't put them up on a website, believe me. <laughs> hey, I want to thank you for uh, the opportunity to fish up in your backyard on Dogtooth and Kilbert. Now, we had a ball the last couple of days. You want to put this on your bucket list. It was on mine. It's got to go on your bucket list now.